Hi guys, um, you'll remember from the other day that when I was cleaning Zen's BGA up a pad came off um, for no particular reason. I was being really careful and gentle with the the desolder wick and the BGA had been uh, heat cycled far more often than it should have been really but I was just wondering if there was a better way of getting the solder off of the BGA and, and maybe even the, the board rather than dragging the, uh, the the desolder wick around well that does mean that at some point the desolder wick and the iron are you know are going to hit a solid ball of solder on the pad and before that melts there um, no, I guess there is a small risk of detaching the pad as we saw now last night I was going through one of the kitchen drawers and I came across a sort of spatula looking thing that looked brand new and it was made of silicon and I thought, well, that's a bit weird. And then I thought, well, of course, that's probably got a really, really high melting point being made of some sort of silicon uh, rubber, which got me thinking uh, about this idea. Debbie wouldn't let me use <laughs> her brand new silicon spatula or whatever it was. Um, so I've had a hunt around in the garage. And what I found was a... I mean, I've never used it. It's a a car squeegee type thing, it, you just run it over the bodywork after you've washed the car and um, this I think is made of a silicon rubber material and um, if you look I've got an iron here up to 360-ish and if I touch it on here it doesn't actually do anything I don't know whether you can see that or not but it doesn't melt so I thought if I um yeah look not a <laughs> not a mark on it. I've cut a small piece off like that and um the idea is when we <coughs> excuse me, when we remove the BGA, if I have a hot plate already uh at temperature, I can take the BGA straight off, pop it onto the hot plate and hopefully just drag the molten solder straight off of the the BGA like that that will remove any risk of lifting the pads hopefully because <laughs> the solder will all be already be melt uh, molten and it won't be putting it through another heat cycle so yeah if you imagine taking that straight off the board popping it onto um, a hot plate at the moment all I've done is rigged up this um, IPM heatsink for the in, for the oven and I've just bolted a little bit bracket on there I'll make up something proper eventually and all this is is a heatsink off of um, probably a, a buffer board and uh, it's just a little sticky pad on there which has got enough stick left just to hold the, the BGA on there so um, just for the moment I thought well if I get this all up to temperature imagine that's just come off of a, a board then hopefully we can just scrape the molten solder off I don't know whether you think that's a, a smart idea or not no doubt it's all over YouTube already but I haven't seen it if it is um, so yeah I'm just going to fire the oven up get this up to reflow and just see if the solder will drag off and leave a clean surface that possibly may, might just need some IPA to clean it and we're good to go to straight to the, the reballing stage um, so yeah I don't know what do you think of that idea, idea guys um, obviously I can make up a, a proper jig and, and maybe get it onto the top of the the ovens hobs here or make up a, a proper hot plate of some sort um, with uh, controlled with the Arduino and a, a K type thermocouple but for the moment, just for testing, I'm just going to uh, see whether this idea will work in the uh, in the oven. So I'm just going to fire this up, and uh, I'll be uh, back with uh, with another video in a minute and uh, show you whether that uh, that works or not. So back in a minute. Right, guys, we're up to temperature, and I've probably overdone it slightly just for the sake of the video. So I'm just going to turn this uh, this oven off, and uh, no oven gloves unfortunately, so I'm just going to try and drag this out 
a little bit, pop that down, and uh, I wonder if I can zoom in without this going off. Hopefully there's enough residual heat in the Unfortunately, it's gone off a bit uh, already, but you can see that that's dragging the solder straight off. Hopefully, just turn that round. Obviously, this isn't ideal. You would still want it up to temperature whilst you were doing this on the hot plate, but because I've dragged this out. So yeah, actually, I think that's going to, if that was on a hot plate with the heat still on it, rather than uh, in the oven, where I've just literally poured it out, that's going to work just fine. It's a bit awkward to handle. Just bring it up to the camera, hopefully it will focus. It's a bit hot. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you can see on the uh, on the left where it's uh, cooled down. I haven't been able to drag the solder off, but on the other side where it was up to temperature, it's come straight off. And uh, yeah, it's a bit warm. It's uh, yeah, it's really come up uh, clean. So I think if that was uh, stuck on a hot plate and uh, we could keep it at temperature just while we were dragging that over, that would work. Um, that would work absolutely perfectly probably just go to the, the cleaning stage and uh, be ready to re-ball. Ah, I no, yeah, you wouldn't be able to re-ball while it's still warm obviously, so we, we're not going to miss a heat stage out completely. But uh, that has got to be safer than uh, dragging wick all over it, um, because all we're doing is moving liquid solder out of the way. So yeah, I think if I make up some sort of little jig for that, design a little hot plate or I might even try the, the hob or a, yeah, I know you can buy single hot plates you know single hobs for about 15-20 quid with um, static control might even be worth um, having a look at one of those and not messing around uh, designing my own but yeah I think that might be a, an interesting interesting idea because the side that was molten when I tried it has come straight off and as you saw all it's done is um, Left a few bits of solder on the uh, <clears throat> on the IPM heatsink and on the uh, on the bench and the glass door. But of course, that is um, unmarked. So yeah, I think that's a that's an interesting idea and probably a, a good result. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I just thought I'd add a closer up shot of this. Uh, this BGA. You can see at the top they're pretty clean. I think I would be quite happy uh, re-boarding uh, re that as it is. Um, I've just cleaned it up with a bit of flux cleaner, a flux remover. And you can see just at the bottom there where it's cooled down and I haven't managed to scrape it off in time. But of course that wouldn't be a problem with the hot plate still at temperature. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to work very nicely with absolutely no risk whatsoever to the pads on the um, the pads on the BGA. Now, whether you could actually rig up something to do that on the board this came off of, uh, I don't know. You might be able to tag a little piece of uh, the solder braid at one end on of the BGA land on the board and uh, and do a similar thing and just sweep the molten solder onto the braid. That's going to depend very much on what board you're uh, you're working with I guess. So uh, yeah interesting but that's certainly a way I think of making absolutely sure there's no damage to the uh, the BGA's pads. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's, uh, that's the result. 